Okay, you guys, so what most people don't, don't realize is that starting a cleaning company, starting a cleaning business is one of the easiest way to become an entrepreneur. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the first couple of years, you're not really an entrepreneur. You're just trying to survive. You're trying to make a means and you're trying to grow your company. So how do people start making, how did I start making over a hundred thousand the first year? So I was getting really desperate and I was three months in, I couldn't find clients and I was competing with a lot of companies and a lot of people that had a bringing them up. So I said to myself, I'm going to, I need to get reviews and number one way to get reviews is to give out the service almost for free. So I can get those people to do the reviews online and then I can get people that are just like you and me looking for a cleaning service and that they will see the good reviews online. That's why I decided to do two local uh, coupons. One was, um, it's no longer in existence and the other one was a living social uh, coupon. I made a lot of mistakes and we can have a video on that. The, the biggest mistake I made is that I didn't cap the amount of coupons that I wanted to sell. And we sold about 500 total um, coupons. We had to service a lot of those people. And because I had a capacity, it was, I had three people, two people with me. So with me, I'm sorry, with me, it was three people. So I had the capacity to service people every day without getting to travel. But if you're only cleaning yourself, you need to make sure that you cap the cleaning and that you have a lot of restrictions. I can only book if you schedule with a week in advance. I will, I will only sell, let's say, 100 coupons. You have to do a lot of restrictions, and we can definitely do a video on that because I made a lot of mistakes and I learned a lot by doing those coupons online. But the biggest thing is if you're starting out and you don't know how to get clients, the easiest way is to hijack one of those coupon sites. Make sure that you don't, that you break even. So you don't come up with money for marketing per se, but you still need to come up with enough money to pay someone if you're gonna pay them to help you clean. So if you're going to have an employee part-time or whatever it is, whatever the service is, you need to make sure that when you're talking to the rep from those company, that you don't tell them you're just starting out and it's only you and all of that. You got to say that you have cleaners and that you pay competitive wages and you have to have those numbers figured out because they will, they're very smart and they will interview you so they know how cheap they can buy you for so you got to make sure that your prices are competitive as if you were going to sell to a regular client and then from there work your way to the discount. That's the best way to do it. Again, if you're really interested, we can do a video on that. Just let me know. Um, but that was the easiest way. That's the number one way that I will say. If I have to do it again, I'll definitely do that again. After that time when we did the coupons, Never again I had to do coupons because I had enough, I created systems and I had enough people coming in asking for my service that I didn't really have to go and sell my services. They came to me. So again, if you're starting out, make sure you have a business card, create a cheap website. Don't spend thousands of dollars on a website. I made a lot of mistakes with that too. I will definitely say spend a couple of hundred dollars on a website spend a couple of hundred dollars on designing and printing a good um, business card. Make sure you have a professional name. Don't call it Maria's Cleaning. Uh, that's just crazy. I don't even know why people do that. Make sure it's a professional name. Make sure it sounds good to the client in their mind. Make sure that you present yourself as you have been a professional for at least a couple of years. Don't say that you're new and that's why you're starting with this. Don't Lost, low ball yourself, like really be aggressive in your marketing campaigns, in your business card, in your website. Don't, I'm not saying you need to lie, but you go out and give two cleanings for free and get those testimonials on how you did on your cleaning. So you don't lie on the testimonials, but you still, it looks like you have people for years, right? So let me know how I can help you. Um, join the Facebook group. It's called Six Figure Cleaning Business Masterclass. 
and you can find it on Facebook. I also obviously have the YouTube and um, find, find me also on TremendousLife.com. All right, you guys, have a good one.